Sagittarius, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nali, a.k.a. Awotero, and I'm here to give you guys your weekend reading. We're going to tap into this energy, see what's going on with you guys this weekend, your overall messages and possible outcomes. Before we get started, guys, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. This allows me to connect with you all energetically, and it definitely helps me out with the growth of the channel. As you all know, my readings are timeless, general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. There is no gender in tarot. Please reverse the roles as need be. Cross watchers, you are always welcome. Guys, don't forget to check your other placements so you get a better understanding of this energy. And if this reading resonated with you and you would like to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. I'm actually having a special this weekend, so don't forget to check out the community tab. And as always, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for all your love and support. It is truly appreciated. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started here with your reading. Let's see what is the overall energy for Sagittarius this weekend, universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. Okay. Some final decisions. Something is definitely coming to an end. To make way for a new beginning here. What else, universe? What else do we got going on here for Sagittarius? Page of Swords, truth and clarity. So there's a message. There's some type of truth coming towards you. There's going to be a conversation that's going to be had this weekend where you are going to be able to make a final decision. And I feel it's going to be a very truthful conversation. Four of Pentacles. There is something you've been holding on to here, Sag. I feel that you're going to get ready to release it. Maybe there's some, some inner feeling that you've been needing to let go of, something that you've been needing to tell someone, um, some type of clarity here. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, you may be making a decision to end the relationship that you no longer want to put any work with in. With the eight of pentacles in the reverse but it's 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 like a secret it's something that you've been holding within and you're finally getting ready to let it go some of you guys are going to come to a realization and you will be letting someone know that there's a relationship that just isn't heading anywhere okay three of wands you don't see a future anymore you don't see you don't see positive forward movement anymore you feel like this connection ended a long time ago You've been really thinking about this, praying about it, high priestess, really wanting, you were really wanting this situation to work, but at this point, there's something that has just, there's an epiphany, there's a clarity that just came towards you, and you're making a decision to end the relationship here. For some of you guys, this may have to do with work. You may be deciding to let go of a job, because these readings will be posted on Friday, so some of you guys are letting go of a job on Friday. Um... But overall, I feel it's an energy where you just don't want to put the work in a situation anymore, okay? You're done with it. You've been praying about this with the high priestess here. You've been really trying to tap into your intuition. You've been looking at the situation for what it really is. And you're coming down to final, final decisions here. Definitely ending something this weekend <clears throat> to move towards something new. What else, universe? Eight of Swords. You've been really stuck in your head about this, as I previously said. There's an energy here where, again, you've been trying really, really hard to make something work, okay? You've been staying quiet. You've pretty much been uh, holding information to yourself, just trying to make the situation work. And at, at this point, you're, you're already like, I can't do this anymore. Eight of Swords, you feel trapped. You feel depressed. You feel sad. You feel overwhelmed. Like, you just don't want to deal with the situation anymore here. Empress, this may have to do with a marriage. So some of you guys may be um, letting up, uh, letting your spouse know that you don't want to work on this connection anymore. Ace of Swords, speaking the truth, opening up the doors to a new beginning here. Okay, so someone may be telling you know their spouse that they don't want to be with them anymore. Someone may be relaying the fact that they're pregnant. Okay. Um, but there's definitely an energy here of something new getting ready to come through. With the Empress here, it doesn't necessarily mean a spouse. It could definitely be you birthing a new idea, you birthing a new way of thinking, a new way of being, okay? Releasing any toxicity, letting go of anything that's holding you back. And with the Ace of Swords, finally speaking up, speaking the truth, bringing some clarity, opening up the doors to a new beginning. With the Moon here, definitely bringing in some clarity, 
okay there is something that's going to get ready to be um told this week and something that's going to get ready to come into the light something that you've been holding back from you may have been a little bit scared to let someone know that you no longer want to be with them but there's a final decision here i feel that there is i have not seen a single cup as of yet two of wands you feel like you've been blocked you feel like you've been stuck in a situation and you just want to become unstuck already okay this may very well have to do with a job or a relationship for that matter what else universe with the tower moment something is coming to an end okay there is definitely a major decision here something is coming to an end this weekend and it's because you're in this energy where you're birthing something new. You're wanting something new. You want a different a different career or a different life or possibly even a different partner. You just want something different. The life that you've been leading up to this point has become mundane, has become boring. And you just, you don't want to do this anymore. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. You don't want to put the work in this anymore. Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're turning your back to a situation that no longer serves a purpose for you. There is something that's definitely coming to an end this weekend. You're walking away from a situation that just isn't for you anymore. You've tried to work with this. You've tried to do everything that you could. But at this point, you can no longer stay stuck where you're not happy yet. And you're moving away from a situation. What else here? Eight of Wands. Yep. Yeah. No longer wanting to communicate. No longer wanting to work on a situation. No longer wanting to move passionately towards a relationship. Wanting to end the situation, wanting to speak a truth, Ace of Swords, wanting to bring in truth and clarity, Seven of Swords. You feel at times that you're you're lying, you're being deceptive, you're faking the funk. Some of you guys are faking the funk within a relationship, and you're just over it. You want to get out of it. You this is not what the way you want to live. This is not the way you want to do things. You just want it to end already. You want to move on and move forward. Some of you guys may not even be moving into a new relationship. You're just moving towards towards a, a, a life of freedom, okay? Knight of Cups, no longer wanting to offer any emotional commitment, emotional um, contentment, no longer happy in a situation, making a decision to break up with somebody. With the perspective here, which is the hangman in the reverse, you feel stuck. You feel like this isn't going anywhere. You try your hardest. You always try to put something into the situation, but it just isn't working for you, okay? You're wanting to move on. You're wanting to move forward. With the Wheel of Fortune here and the Two of Swords, you're making a decision to remove yourself from a situation that just isn't making you happy anymore. You feel stuck. You feel like you're in a toxic situation. You feel like it's not going anywhere with the devil here. You're wanting to move on. There's a decision, a major decision you're going to be making this weekend, Sagittarius. And it's definitely walking away from something, walking away from a relationship, walking away from a job. But you're walking away from people, places, and things that do not serve a purpose for you to bring in something new. To bring in a new, a new energy, to bring in a new relationship, just to bring in love and prosperity, happiness, health, wealth. You're just tired of faking the funk in a relationship or in a situation and you're making a decision this weekend to walk away, end it, and move on and move forward in, in, in search of your happiness, in search of your good luck, okay? All right, guys, I hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. And if you want to book a personal, the info is in the description box below. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.